What's going on everybody, and welcome to part 4 of my blind playthrough for The Walking Dead, episode 1. Man, last time, things were getting- this game just keeps getting better and better. I, I figured it would be the same just because I've heard nothing but good things about it, but it is like that addicting story that you just don't want to stop watching. You want to keep watching it and watching it because it just gets better and better. Alright, so we need to get to that drugstore over there to help the guy because that's the kind of good people we are. I wonder if you could choose to just be a jackass in this. Right? I wonder if they have a game like that where you just be a complete jerk. I like the uh, the really hard choice though. That was uh, that was awesome. Okay, so wait. That, okay, that's a bathroom. They'd just be easier to smash through the bathroom. Wait, what was that? Nothing. Like, okay, look at gate. The pills are in there. Right. There's no getting in there from out here. That grate does its job. Okay, so... How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Lee, Lily, Larry. Well... I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad... That didn't help. What? Hey, we didn't start that. Uh, I I don't know. I know what's wrong. Let's. You're from here. I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got to the pharmacy? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Oh. <laughs> Good. Are you okay? Yeah. Do I look okay? Fine. <laughs> Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Bummer. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hmm, I wonder if it's the same where if, like... I don't even know if I should be calling spoiler alerts from things from the show. It's been out for a while, so... Alive and oh really? Well, that, well, that can't be accurate now, right? I can't. I can't think about them in here. Uh, there was a med kit, yeah. First aid kit. Hey, get over there. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Luckily? I think I'd want to take it with me anyways, but... Yeah, they didn't think about getting in through this way? What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like <laughs> you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Yeah, this just wouldn't be as uh, sympathetic. We wouldn't have that innocence if we weren't watching over a child, huh? <laughs> just have to have that in there. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Yeah, can you lift a bench? <laughs> Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. 
Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. What? Do, do neither of you people ever go for zombie shows? Come on. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Uh... I... well, I don't like any of these options, actually. Um... What do your parents do? I don't want to bring that up. I don't want to, like, be mean about her question, but... Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Oh! Girl, I'm trying to keep my patience with you. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I killed someone. I got into some trouble and then I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's oh. just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Like, what are the odds of that? No, let's get this done. And then there was a zombie no. in the desk. Oh! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Well, is it bleeding? A little. That's what the first aid kit's for. <laughs> I'll find you a bandage. Figured that was gonna happen. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Oh, bend aid. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Okay. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Can you just... Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Okay. So... I don't know why we can't just break the door down, but... Keys. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Find anything? I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' oh. store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Well, I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Yeah, right. His, uh, his last name's Everett. That's actually my middle name. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. <laughs> well, good. You seem like an okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of. And look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, 
then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. So, so you, like, just out of the blue, they just told us what's going on. So I didn't know what was happening. Like the whole time they were talking to the cop or I didn't know what he did. He didn't. He doesn't seem guilty to me, but he still might have done it. I. I it's, it's hard to say because that's like, Senator was sleeping with his wife. Possibly. It's hard to tell. Interesting. Okay. This is all coming together a little. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. The TV. Uh, let's see. My parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Well, it looks like his parents were probably dead. His brother might be alive, though. My parents came in here hoping to yes. survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. Oh, we're going to get repeats Trying like this? Hero, That's... A little Detective annoying in a game like this. You think if there was going to be a repeat uh, thing, unless it was important, they wouldn't uh, have it happen. Okay, let's check the drawer. Right, that would have been smart. Well, there's the remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Plasma screen. Never let me have one. <laughs> I can't even tell if that's a plasma up there. No. Nope. That's what I figured. Well, I'm glad that was a good use of our time. Um, owner, can we just go back out? I would think they would be in here, but right, yeah, I know. It's locked. Yes, it is. We need to track down the keys if we're going yes, to we help do. Larry. Thank you. Okay, got it, man. Roger that. Okay, so like, could I walk out if I needed to? You think they'd probably be back here? But I don't see anything. Like, that's the first aid kit, that's the TV. Um, we could talk to her. Wait, the kid's name is Glenn, and the other guy's name was Herschel? I wonder if these are, like, not references, but they're also not the same characters. Like, character. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Um. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah. Yeah. I did. <laughs> I did. Can you do that more? Oh well, yeah. I'm not gonna go looking for. Them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Yeah, we're a badass. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay, so uh, it looks like we checked out this room. Let me see if we can go back out. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? I don't want to lie to her. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Like, I don't want to lie to the kid. It seems like lying is not going to always... Like, it has a really good chance of coming back to bite you in the ass in this game. Like, you could lie and that could get you out of a bad situation, maybe, but... I, I definitely don't want to lie to the girl, if anyone. Except about her parents, I can't be straightforward about that. Wait, what I pick up? Didn't even tell me what I picked up. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Oh, great. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? <laughs> this is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, 
just saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay. So we're just going to figure out the old guy and his stuff? Huh. Well, that seems weird, but I guess he is okay for right now, and Glenn is in trouble, which is way more of a priority, so I guess we're going to go kick some zombie ass. But I guess we'll be doing that in the next episode. So until then, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.